<laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I didn't have the camera on, but I have just landed a mandra pony. Have a look at the size of this thing. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, fishing restrictions have been lifted, thank God. Um, I was going a little bit crazy, but today I have managed to escape the house and we've come down to Mandra. Still obviously staying within the region and social distancing guidelines, but it's really good to, to finally get out in the water. So we've dropped the axe in, the old man's with me, he's taken off up the other way um, and I'm going down, so we'll see what works best. Um, I'm pretty excited to be out here today. Whether we catch a fish or not, I'm not too worried. Um, hopefully we get a few and I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting bogged. All right, I just had my first bite for the morning off this snag. I've just changed the deeper side of the river. It's really shady. I just cast the brim prawn on the first cast into the snag and it got taken within a half a second of hitting the water but with the weedless hook I just couldn't quite set it so he, um, he rocketed it back at me unfortunately. See if I can get him to eat again. This is one thing I love about Mandra. If you haven't been here for a while and you forgot where the channels are, it's very easy to run at the sandbars. Have a look in the water, I don't know if you can see, but it's only about, well, the sand isn't even reading, that's how shallow it is, it's a fin there on the bottom. <laughs> oh, I love fishing. So I don't know if you can see up there in that tree, but that's exactly what we're looking for. There's three shags. One of them has just um, done their business into the water. That just happens to be exactly what we're imitating with the, um, the brim prawn, that white brim prawn. Because believe it or not, brim love eating shag poo. So you see a tree like this, you got to be really, really quiet and careful not to spook them. Because a lot of time, that's where the brim will be sitting underneath that tree and um, taking advantage of an easy feed. As um, disgusting as it may sound. Yes. Oh! didn't set the hook on it but that just shows exactly what I was saying tree with shags you might have been seen on the camera he just um, dropped one right where I put the uh, lure and um, yeah hook up unfortunately I just pulled the hooks out didn't quite set it hard enough but it's, um, it's good to prove the point there <laughs> don't want to get under that tree I'll get um, <laughs> I don't want to get any paint job. And a lot of people will focus on the snags they can see sitting in the water. Um, a really good tip is to look up because trees that are overhanging the water above the water will drop branches in all the time um, and create a structure down below and it's also where the shags can perch themselves on, which means they'll be um, their droppings into the water so always look up as well it's also interesting though I'm on the sunny side of the bank now but it, it it changed when I was coming down that side over there it was in the nice deep bank and then all of a sudden it got to the corner and the outside bend of the river that's where the deep water is so I made the quick switch across and that's where the, the fish are holding seeing as the tide is very low right now so I think the weedless rig brim prawn in the 50ml salt and pepper has got to be my number one manja lure. It's so easy to fish here, you fish fast and it just seems to be so successful, it's, you know, it's like obviously imitating the shag poo 
which has heaps of around here, but it's easy to fish a lot of these pontoons and jetties and man-made structures, and then even a lot of these snags here as well. You can um, cover lots of ground, and you're only using five or six seconds per cast per retrieve. It's nice and quick. You don't get bored sitting there trying to slow roll a grub for 30 seconds. Let's cast it, let it sink, wait for a bite. If you have one, wheel it in. If not, move on. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I didn't have the camera on, but I have just landed a mandra pony. Have a look at the size of this thing. This is a big fish. I'll, um, I'll get it out and get you a proper look at it because oh, I'm excited. That went hard on three pound fluoro. <laughs> oh, this thing is a tank of a fish. I'm in really skinny water. Snags everywhere. It's been a very, this is the first fish of the day. It's been a very tough bite, but have a look at that. What an absolute pig of a fish. It's got that brim prawn beautifully in the corner of the mouth. Oh, I was beginning to lose hope. <laughs> My faith is restored. Mandra is one of these places where it's either really good to me or really bad to me. And more often than not, it's really bad to me, so I'm stoked. I'll get a quick measure on it. He must be going close to 40. Thirty-eight. I'm pretty stoked with that. I reckon that's my mandra PB. They get a lot bigger than that in here, but I'm three pound. I don't know whether I would lamb one or not. <laughs> oh, I'm a happy man.